Hi there, this is Rick. Uh, this is another video on bass ambience. This one is um, how to make a working toilet in Armour 3. Uh, could be useful in a uh, military life simulator or um, like a standard sort of like an Altus Life kind of scenario if it hasn't been done before. I don't think so, but anyway. So I'm going to start off playing and I'll show you how this works. I'm going to play as this character. I'm starting in the stockade. Um, and obviously after being stuck in a stockade for a while, nature calls. Now this video is actually subtitled when bass ambience is taken to the extreme or yeah, as I said, when nature calls. So, um, so here's a toilet with a bit of toilet paper lying outside. If I get close, the door opens automatically and uh, add action comes up, sit. So I'm going to sit down, if I go into a uh, splendid camera, you can see he's uh, sitting in the toilet there, kill the splendid camera, close the door, followed by some rude sounds, which I made sure weren't too rude, flash, Open the door, stand up, and um, when I move out, your your gear is put back onto your character. You notice hey I got, door, you got toilet paper on your shoe. I got some silly message telling me I got some toilet paper stuck on my shoe, courtesy of Larry and the Lounge Lizard. Uh, I see it stuck, came off after a few seconds, uh, and then after another few seconds, it mysteriously just ends up by, back by the toilet. Um, okay, so that's basically what the toilet simulator does. So I'll show you how that was done in from a scripting point of view. I'll return back to the Eden editor. All right. So the first thing we need is a toilet, oddly enough. And uh, that's easily found in the Acid Browser. If you type in toilet and search, you'll find quite a number of toilets. Um, many of these, or most of them, they are non-interactable. In other words, the door doesn't open or whatever. So I chose this particular one. And um, instead of putting an add action on the toilet to say open door, um, I decided to put a trigger here so that if the uh, logical Logically, that this guy's going to try and escape, and assuming he's running enhanced movement, he'll try and climb on here and attempt to get over the fence, which just so happens he can't, because it wouldn't be much of a stockade if he could. In the process of doing that, more than likely he's going to trigger this trigger, and the trigger is going to basically um, open the door of the toilet. That's going to kind of give him a hint. So the trigger condition is blue force present, repeatable, the on activation is toilet one, which is the object. Uh, door one rotate is the name of the door. And one means open the door. When I move out of the trigger and the trigger deactivates, the um, door will close automatically. So the door opens and, um, and then you get a, an option. An add action is added to the toilet, which is sit. And it's visible at three meters. And it runs a script called toiletsit.sqf with a priority of five. Okay, so let's have a look at what toiletsit does. This is toiletsit. The add action, um, the, the person who called the add action, in this instance, a uh, local variable player, uh, is pulled through uh, using this select one. So I find out who the guy is that's trying to use the toilet. It then um, saves the person's inventory. It then removes uniform, backpack, vest, headgear, or weapons, unassigns the night vision goggles, removes the night vision goggles, disables the player con uh, collision with toilet one and the toilet's collision with player. Um, it then uh, places the player into the toilet uh, with a a Y offset of 0.8. In other words, it pushes him towards the back of the toilet so that he's positioned over the seat. 
it sets its direction to 180 degrees, meaning facing this way. Um, it then uh, switch moves the player into this animation uh, using remote exec uh, that will run on all machines, including JIP. Um, and uh, so that so that any any other player looking at this will see him switch move into a seated position. Um, after two seconds, it adds action an add action to the player, uh, which is closed door. If he activates that closed door, then uh, it'll run this little command, which is basically close the door with a priority of seven. Uh, it then waits until the door animation phase is partially closed. It sleeps for another second for the door to close. It then uh, plays the root sound, and that could obviously be taken to extremes, but I decided to be reasonably polite for the sake of this video. Uh, a remote exec it, so it re execs it, so you, if you're within a sort of 10 meter radius, you'll probably hear the root sounds. After eight seconds, this sound is completed. It then adds three actions in, uh, in lower priority from six down to four. So these will all be in sequence. First add action that it adds is flush, which is logical. And when you flush the toilet, it plays a 3D sound called, strangely enough, flush. It then um, adds the second add action is open door. And when you do that, then it obviously runs toilet animate door, one rotate, and with a one, it opens the door. And then the last add action it adds is stand up. And so the player will work presumably, hopefully, through each of those in sequence because they will be stacked from the top down in lower, from high priority to low priority. Stand up runs a script called toilet stand up. So that's not confused with other stand up. Um, routines under toilet stand up same thing applies it pulls the person who called the action into a variable called player a local variable so then we have player remote exec switch move so it switches the player out of the cancels the switch move um, on all clients and not on the servers uh, or not on server um, it um, loads the inventory that was previously saved so the player gets his guns back or whatever he wouldn't have any guns because he's in the uh, stockade but he'll get his uniform back and so on uh, it takes away all of the actions that were added to the player um, it then opens the door if it isn't already opened um, it then adds uh, this little bit of toilet paper to his shoe uh, nap one is this little object over here, which is made up of three napkin or four napkins. Uh, nap one, nap two, nap three, nap four. Each one is offset from the previous one by on the y-axis by minus 0 0.1. So essentially you create a piece of paper. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that piece of paper is then attached to uh, a mem point called left foot and is offset uh, by these, uh, it's offsets it slightly on the x-axis, moves it back on his foot, and raises it just slightly above the ground so you can see it. Um, it sets the direction of the toilet paper uh, or napkin to the same direction as the player. It sleeps for 10 seconds, so by that time you've probably walked out of the toilet and you you hear this silly voice saying, hey dork, you got toilet paper stuck to your shoe. That's courtesy of Larry and the Lounge Lizards. If that means anything to anyone. Then after five seconds, it detaches the toilet paper from the person's shoe. And then after 10 seconds, it moves that toilet paper back to a marker position toilet paper, which is um, over there. So the toilet paper arrives back at its original position, ready for the next person to and so that's how it works and um, at this point you're probably thinking what the hell did I just watch um, and so on and so on but um, someone might find it useful and and the process of opening and closing doors on objects uh, there's some some useful little features that you can 
apply to uh, containers and uh, various other um, objects in Armour 3. So this wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> and if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, click like, all of that stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.